Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome brothers and sisters. I am Jessica. As usual, I have another video to put out there. I know I've been away <laughs> for long, but um, today is a unplanned video. I did not plan this at all. It's something that the Lord put in my heart and I was like, you know what, Lord, let's do it. Follow my Instagram. I basically put polls there if you want to see like a specific content or a specific topic you would like me to discuss on my channel. I definitely do that. So you can follow me on my Instagram. It is Bratitude. So it's B-R-A-T-Z-I-T-U-D-E underscore. That's for my personal Instagram. And my Instagram for this channel, basically just faith content. That's it. It's P I nk dot t a b l e dot t a l k also follow my tiktok on tiktok i post a lot of content like i definitely so bold with my christian faith definitely follow me there look for it and you got it <laughs> things i want to get out there is that sharing a part of my journey and sharing a part of my journey is something very personal to me but as you guys know, as a YouTuber, you have to get as much out there. Basically, all through my life, I've suffered from depression. And I know this comes with a psychological point because when you are a shy kid, um, anxiety develops, um, mental disorder develops, depression, which is one of them, anxiety, which is one of them. And I think I had all that. In just one i was never extrovert never i was very much introvert like i kept to myself god makes us go through these things so we can understand the other person what they've been through if you've been through the same thing then it's easier to understand that person's pain their lack of faith and everything that goes beyond all that so that's definitely one of the most important things that i've learned throughout my walk with jesus i always questioned why why god why does this happen to me why are people so mean to me i'm so nice like i don't deserve this and guess what little did i know that god was preparing me to be strong to be very very strong because i had such little faith in him all these things that i've been through that i've gone through has helped me so much with my faith because it's not only that it's that we need to understand that god is always there it's just a problem is us us that we think that oh he's not listening he's like trust me he's always listening but he's true trying to find you in a place where you're not complaining because when you complain there comes doubt and when you have doubt then there's lack of faith there's no faith in god like there's things that we fail and why because we're human we have flesh and as long as we have flesh we are going to fail god and god knows that god knows that perfectly well he knows when you're going to fail before you fail so he knows that on the top of his head but guess what he gave us the opportunity to continue and it's something that just spoke to me so well i was like you know what i got more into the word of god i got more into looking for him i got more into praying when i tell you i'm a hundred percent sure and jesus can tell you this too in the bible it's in the bible that this world is full of wickedness there's no good in this world absolutely nothing in this world will fulfill you the bible says that jesus is the way the truth and the life i might just say that backwards but anyways but he says that he declares that and it's true and that whole concept of you thinking that you're too broken for god to use you that is satan building lies in your head and the bible says it too look at my bible it's so cute right i literally just decorated yesterday so it's my bible I'll look at the back it's so cute <laughs> satan came to lie destroy and kill he's lying to you because he knows he knows the potential you hold that powerful potential, that authority that Jesus left when he died on that cross, when he, oh my, when, when he dripped down all that blood for us, he left us authority. He left us the Holy Spirit. And in the Bible says that we do not have a spirit of coward. 
We have a spirit of sound in mind. Use that. Use that. Totally use that. You have the potential in you. It's just that these lies that Satan builds in your head is not letting you to the light, to Jesus' perfect plan in your life. And that was me. I'm guilty for it too. I used to think, well, I'm too broken. I'm never going to serve God. Look, look at me now. God is never going to use me. Oh my, if you see throughout the Bible, God uses so much people with lack of faith. Or people that don't even believe in him. We look at Peter. Oh my, Peter persecuted Christians. People that had so much faith in Jesus. He persecuted Christians because of their faith. Until Jesus revealed to him. And he finally saw the light. He was blinded. He was blinded because he couldn't see. And that happens to most of us Christians. And I know it's not easy because I put myself first. But God, if you see the glory that God holds between you. See, we go from lying, destroy. What is he trying to destroy? You need to question that in your head a lot. What is Satan trying to destroy in my life? What is God trying to show me? What is God, where is God trying to lead me that I'm building up these thoughts in my head, these doubts in my head? That's something that you need to ask yourself on a daily basis. Where is God showing me? What is he trying to show me? Where is he leading me? Kill. Finally kill. The Bible says that sin are the wages of death mentally physically and emotionally how many people do we see nowadays that are just into drugs so many things god's love is forever people only knew how much god loved them they wouldn't do the things that they would do and yeah we are human we are going to feel god like his son but once you have the holy spirit with you you don't want to do that anymore you don't because it's love it's not rules it's love. Appreciating what he did on the cross for us. You were never too broken. He forgot to use you. He never too broken. You can start now. Actually, no. Start now. Because tomorrow's not promised. Our life is a blink of an eye. We blink. And boom. Our life is over. Especially now. Things are getting bad. bad. Signs of Jesus is coming. I wouldn't want you to stay for the tribulation because it's not going to be fun. The Bible clearly states that it's going to be painful as a pregnancy. And people say that pregnancy is a ring of light, ring of fire. So <laughs> definitely no. God knows what you hold in there. And if you were to give the opportunity to God today, my oh my, the Bible says that we do not have battle between flesh or blood but between the wickedness of this world the spiritual world that is our battle not each other say he wants to destroy the perfect plan that god has for you don't let him he's not worth the time <laughs> trust me five seconds of sin or five minutes or whatever you want to call it is not worth throwing it for eternity he is just waiting for you to open that door he cannot enter he is not a thief like Satan is. Satan can enter anywhere. He enters everywhere. God is not like that. Jesus is a gentleman. That's why you have to let him in. He can't just barge in. And trust me, when you invite him in your life, a whole 360. When I tell you I've never been this happy in my life, I've struggled with self-image, body image. And Jesus took that all away. Because as someone who loved me, when I didn't love myself, is a huge impact in someone's life. Don't let Satan destroy your perfect plan for God's life. Don't. It's not worth it. He is not worth it. You're worth it. And God wants to use you. So that is it for today. That is just something that the Lord put in my heart. And this is not scripted. I usually take notes here to say what I need to say. Or obviously informational videos. Not like these kind of videos. But this was just out of the blue. This is just something that God put in my heart to say today. And yeah. 
So if you like more videos like this, stay tuned, subscribe, and I'll be back with more videos.